Hello all 10 VA fans, it's been a while, but now I'm back with another video. So this will actually be a 6 episode series, and specifically for the true custom, custom made, my two favorite players, Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan jerseys. As you can see, this beautiful piece is made by Rafal, who is called True Custom. And his custom-made jerseys, in my opinion, are the closest thing that you can get uh, detail-wise, stitching-wise and material-wise to a legit, I would say, even pro-cut jersey. So many people like to call these jerseys fake jerseys, just because of the fact that they got no license from the NBA, Nike, Champion, or Adidas, or Reebok. But for me, I have to say I owned a pro-cut jerseys like Michael Jordan Pro Cut jerseys and you already saw my videos way back when I had them. For me and only for me personally, I can't justify paying 2500 to 3000 or even more dollars for a jersey. This is the only way I can get a rookie Kobe Bryant Los Angeles Lakers jersey. And I have it in purple as well. But that one I will show you in the next episode. But I can't afford, I can't justify to pay thousands of dollars and own many of these thousand dollar jerseys so he makes these jerseys for 250 dollars if you order more it will go down to as low as 200 dollars per jersey that's not low for a custom jersey but the detail that he makes the stitching the material and we will see the jersey in more close-ups it's actually phenomenal really i held pro cut jerseys in my hands it's not a pro cut, of course, but for me personally, these details as the letter font that was present only for the champion Lakers jerseys, you can't find them anymore. If there is an authentic champion jersey, it's already been used or you can see it's the wear and tear. Of course, it has the nostalgic experience because it's made back in the 1996-97, but these jerseys cost a fortune as well. And for me personally, I usually do the reviews for legit official Nike or other licensed NBA jerseys. But this series will be specifically about true custom, custom made jerseys. So my favorite era was the 90s and of course Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant when he came after Michael Jordan later on and the first battles. As a kid, I watched NBA action top 10s and condensed games. So specifically these jerseys with the gold NBA logo, that was the 50th anniversary NBA season, when most of the jerseys had the gold embroidered NBA logos. Some of them still had the regular ones, but Kobe, Eddie Jones, Nick Van Axel, actually not Shaquille O'Neal, he had the regular NBA logo on. That's a nostalgia for me. And I'm just happy the True Custom created this jersey and five other jerseys that I'll show the next time. So we will check this jersey in more detail. So this is how the jersey looks on me. You can always ask True Custom to make the jersey specifically for you. You just have to say your measurements, the width, the length, and he will make it. One thing you have to keep in mind that these jerseys are a long time waiting. So at the beginning, the waiting time was two months, three months. And now it's already four months because people are like crazy for his work and ordering a bunch of jerseys and he is one person that is making and stitching the end result. So basically he gets these jersey materials first and then he sends the jersey blank to embroidery for the NBA logo. And then once it's done, they send it back to him and he just ends the finishing touches, cuts out the numbers and letters and makes all the stitching himself. So that's the end result as you can see. The jock tag says true custom, hashtag true custom, and you can find him on Instagram. Just ask him which jersey you want. And the uh, hardest part is the waiting time. So once the waiting time is over, this jersey, man, they are so, so good. And these details, actually, it's so much better than Mitchell and Ness. Although Mitchell and Ness is officially licensed product, I would choose true custom jerseys over Mitchell and Ness each time a day. And I'll show you the specifics for the Michael Jordan jerseys that I have. I ordered all colors, all versions of them. And this is how the name looks from the backside. And the name, specifically the font, was like that originally in the 1996-97 NBA season. And the season later, 
you can see now. And a season later, it was a different font because Nike made these jerseys and that was already another design, kind of. I will put some pictures so you can see the comparison. And Mitchell and Ness tries to replicate this as well, but many times Jordan letters are too huge at the back. And speaking of the Pro Cut jerseys, yes, that's the closest thing that you can get to the game jersey. And I asked my friends how they feel about getting custom made or the Pro Cut. Of course, the Pro Cut has the emotional value way much higher for some people. But for me personally, it's all about the details. You know I'm crazy on the details. I'm a perfectionist of the small, tiny details. And for me, the Pro Cut jerseys, especially the Michael Jordan Bulls jerseys, had the name art way too high on the back. So the gamer jerseys always had them lower. And all these details True Custom makes exactly like the game jersey should look. And it feels and looks just amazing. But now let's check this jersey in more details. So this is the, how the front of the jersey looks like. Here is the embroidered gold NBA logo. You can see the stitching here. Number 8 with that 3D effect. Looks really nice. The true custom hashtag true custom job tag. This is the tag that he puts on all of his custom jerseys and the back of the jersey. And the best thing is this font. You can see that R and A and N letters have this filled white twill inside them. That was just like the champion jerseys the gamers champion game jerseys were like. You can see the fantastic stitching, all the details. And once again, that stitched, double stitched number eight. Armholes, stitching, and the best part, as the Pro Cut jerseys have. Is that extra stitched armhole part. So from the inside out, here you can see the stitching. This is how the embroidery looks for the NBA logo, just like the Pro Cuts do. Here's the stitching part for the Lakers. And the double stitched number eight, as well as the stitched true custom tag. And here is the back of the jersey inside out. Same double stitched number eight, and the stitched double stitched Bryant letters. So guys, thank you for watching this video. This was the first episode out of six episodes in this mini series, so-called. And I will be happy if you consider subscribing to my channel, if you like any NBA jerseys, custom or original ones, seeing some details, comparisons, measurements, close-ups. I have all of this in my channel. And thank you guys for watching once again. And let's meet in the next episode of Alf NBA.